Great. So when you first open Panther, you're greeted with a home page, and this just guides, uh, provides a guide on how to really get started. So you know you want to invite your team, you want to set up monitoring for uh, scans, onboarding log sources. Uh, we've done a lot of this already in this account. So let me just show, for example, some resources. So if you click through, we have two main menus on the left. One focuses on cloud security, which is uh, infrastructure health, you know, checking our policies and uh, looking at certain resources that we would want to triage and, and fix first. So this gives sort of a, a rank um, of top line policies and top line resources. Um, clicking through policies, we can search and filter. Uh, so let's look at um, let's look at security groups, for example. So we can see this policy is looking for restricting inbound traffic. We can see all of the associated resources with it. So if we look at the failing ones, you now we can click through and we can look at the security group specifically that's failing. And then now we get all the, res the resource attributes. And then we can also see the associated policies again. So we have this bi-directional view with resources policies and it's the same with logs and um, with alerts and rules. Uh, in sources, we can see our configurations here. We can add new accounts, step through. Uh, we provide CloudFormation templates for connecting all the accounts together. Uh, Panther itself is also fully deployed with CloudFormation. And you know, infrastructure as code has a ton of benefits, obviously, with reliability, repeatability, et cetera. Um, so if we click through uh, with rules, as I showed before, it's the same sort of filters with policies. We can look at, you know, do we have Quattro rules loaded up, and do we have high severity Quattro rules, for example? So let me actually take an OS query one as an example. This. Great. So here's our actual our demo, our demo rule, and then we can see there's some generated alerts from that. Uh, let me actually use this one as an example. So um yeah so as i said before you can click through and you can see okay so we had a login from outside the corporate environment uh we get all the context from most query we can see the user we can see the time and then these fields these p slash uh, or p underscore fields are the common ones that we extract out and then these are also searchable in athena as well um, the, the other thing that's really great about how we do our alerting is that it merges based off of certain dedupe strings. So in this case, we're looking at uh, the username and the host name, and then we can see all the activity related within that time frame. So in this case, uh, this rule was looking for AWS commands on the command line, and we're grouping it by host and user. So if we look at command under here, columns command, we can see all the different commands that they typed. And this is all uh, searchable in SQL as well. So if you, if you have a very high amount of events that you need to, to go through and run statistics on, you can do that with, uh, with SQL. And then I think that's essentially most of it. Yeah, um, so we can search our rules, we can search through our, our alerts, and we can, um, we can get a sense of you know the high prior alerts, what uh, what's an overview, I guess, essentially at a higher level here. And then we can see our log sources as well. This is using S3 primarily, as I mentioned. So if you want to add it, add new buckets, we would go through and uh, create IAM rules that Panther can assume to pull the data. 